Good morning, all. Today I'll be presenting a case of acute retinal necrosis, the diagnostic dilemma. Uh, we had a 69-year-old female who presented with right eye diminution of vision and complaint of floater since 15 days. Uh, she had received oral steroids at another center, center for diagnosis of right eye choroiditis. She was hypertensive and on treatment. Ocular examination at our center showed right eye vision at finger counting 2 meters and anterior chamber showed cells 2 plus and flares 2 plus. So uh, her fundus findings showed uh, arteriolar occlusion, there was vitritis, there was a patch of peripheral retinitis and there was traction. Uh, so our working diagnosis was acute retinal necrosis. We started her on oral valcyclovir 1 gram TDS and Ecosprint 75 mg OD. Uh, topically in right eye, we started prednisolone acetate eye drops and atropine eye drops. Uh, we sent a lab workup of uh, HIV, HBSAG, HCV, Treponema pallidum, and uh, Toxo IgM, which came in negative. However, Toxo IgG was raised. So she started improving steadily uh, and we had her on low dose oral steroids for inflammation, but she presented with worsening at four weeks. So uh, vitritis had worsened, there was peripheral retinitis patch which did not resolve at all over the four weeks uh, with oral, uh, oral valcyclovir. So uh, new lesion, there was a new lesion of focal retinitis, the traction had increased and we decided to perform a diagnostic and therapeutic vitrectomy. So a 25 gauge pass plana vitrectomy was performed and intravitreal GAN cyclovir was given. Uh, samples were sent for gram staining, KOH staining, uh, bacterial and fungal cultures and PCR. PCR came in positive for toxoplasma. Uh, we started her on uh, oral sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim and uh, with subsequent follow-up she started improving gradually. So uh, these are the uh, images we can see that there has been a good improvement. So coming to ocular toxoplasmosis, it often presents as macular involvement with focal necrotizing retinitis, associated vitritis, and at times with anterior uveitis. A clinical diagnosis without laboratory confirmation of T. Gondi infection. Uh, the uh, Lesions are often obscured by severe vitritis, uh, producing a classic headlight and fog sign. Uh, unusual presentations of toxoplasma include punctate outer retinal toxoplasmosis, retinal vasculitis, retinal vascular occlusions, uh, unilateral pigmentary retinopathy mimicking retinitis pigmentosa, regmatogenous and serous retinal detachments, neuroretinitis in forms of optic neuropathy, scleritis. Uh, in our case, retinal necrosis was peripheral. There was occlusive vasculitis, which is an atypical presentation with retinal arteriolar occlusion. This delayed both diagnosis and treatment, so it needed a diagnostic vitrectomy. Uh, it can mimic, mimic acute retinal necrosis or viral etiology. Prognosis is definitely poor if unidentified and if there is unrestricted use of oral steroids. These are my references. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sayali. It's a very good presentation. Uh, just like your IgG was positive in your investigations, so that could have given you a little hint though to do IgM also. Yes. So you did not do IgM toxo. IgM came in negative, ma'am. IgG okay. was positive. Okay. Uh, and what type of a diagnostic PPV did you do a complete or you did a core vitrectomy? Complete, ma'am. Complete vitrectomy. Because in acute retinal, there are chances of some. The retina is very uh, thin yes, and friable. There was traction. So there was. Did you put silicon oil also after that? Yes, ma'am. Sil silicon oil was put. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You said that you started a low dose oral steroids. So how much did you start, and how did you decide? Are there any guidelines, and what was the rationale? Uh, she was started on uh, Visalone 40 mg with tapering, ma'am. And uh, as soon as we got the results, we changed the treatment to oral sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. So we monitored the response and then we tapered the steroids. 